So uh, Mike Yates with Atlanta Bay Mortgage uh, with us uh, here on the Duncan Duo Show, and I saw the, uh, the, the the fun one of the fun things about a escalating and growing and ever improving real estate market is uh, appraisals lagging values. Right. Um, where appraisals are coming in lower than what buyers are willing to pay because prices are rising quickly and bidding wars are happening and and so. You know, it's interesting. We, we run into this. It seems like it's cyclical. You know, I remember uh, talking about this on the radio a few years ago, but, but ultimately what we're dealing with now is, is that's becoming more common because the, the past prices don't indicate what's happening today. And, and you know, some appraisers, every appraiser is going to have a different opinion about how they should use an, an appreciation adjustment. Yeah, that's the tough part about a market that we're in right now, for instance, where there's such high demand, you know, people are getting more money for their homes, but there's not always the comps available to to support that value, which makes it tough when right. you're financing your property. It's very difficult in those times, and we see it a lot. Yeah, and, I, and I'll tell you, one of the things that, that I've always enjoyed about working with you guys is, you know, really, you know, having a good understanding of the appraisers that are on your list and how they work and, and having experienced people that, that understand and have gone through these market cycles before know that right. some of that's going to happen and, and that, that um, you know, a home selling today higher than the last price comp doesn't mean it's not, it doesn't mean it shouldn't appraise. Right, you know, exactly. It just means you need to look at the market and say, is our market appreciating and make some factor for it. Right, yeah, that's you know where I think having good appraisers and local appraisals, appraisers, like you said, that know the market and are experienced in it, come into play, uh, which is you know all the more reason to use a local lender. Uh, us, for instance, um, every appraiser that we have on our fee panel has to go through an approval process, uh, but they're all local, so it's going to go to someone that lives and works in the area. And not only that, but. You guys, while you're a, a larger company that's in a lot of different areas, your LOs and the people kind of looking through the loans and all that kind of stuff are, are local, whereas, you know, you've got some of these big conglomerate companies where it's probably more likely to happen because they don't have a good grasp on that list and because they, they don't know what's going on in the local market. They're in, you know, Connecticut doing a mortgage here in Tampa, and uh, they don't understand our market and, and, you know, some of the variations that happen. Yeah, and I have that conversation with people all the time, not just with appraisals, but, you know, other things. Uh, for instance, the as-is contract here, 99.9% .9 of the time the seller chooses a title company, which means they're going to absorb some of the, the costs, like the transfer tax. Yep. Whereas other states, um, that's not always the case. Yeah, and, and you know, the, the appraisal issue, I think, is one that, that we're always going to have, and it's an important point. To make, I mean, I hear realtors, oh, they're upset because the home didn't appraise. But, but in reality, if you have a valid reason or comps, or, or you know, you can go back and dispute it and provide additional information, and sometimes get the evaluation adjusted. Um, you know, but, but in reality, if the appraiser did a really good job and there isn't a lot of opportunity there, then do you really want the customer overpaying? Probably not. You know, right. and, and I think that's the the point that that sometimes needs to be made is that those checks and balances are there for a reason. They're there to protect the market. They're there to keep, you know, goofy things or, or shady things from happening. And and um, in a nutshell, though, appraisers are humans. They make mistakes, and and sometimes they miss a comp or a comp happens after the appraisal is generated. They can look at it again. And so you know, if you're an agent out there and you're frustrated and they're about an appraisal, look look at it, go into detail. Is there a way that you can you know, ultimately uh, provide more information to that appraiser to get the value up. Yeah, I've always been a proponent too, if, if you're going into it thinking that there may be a value issue for that list agent, for instance, to maybe meet the appraiser there, supply them, you know, here, he's, these are the comps that I use, this is why I feel this house is supported by these comps, you know, let them know any upgrades and, and remodeling that's been done. You know, anything you can put into that appraiser's mind as to why that home may be more valuable than the, than the comps is certainly going to help. Yeah, and, and I think, again, factoring in appreciation, I think appraisers can look at trends and say, okay, home prices have gone up X percent every month in that area. So then, you know, if you have a comp that's higher than last month, is it X percent higher? You know, does it right. match the trend? And, and that's something that great appraisers do. Um, you know, the, the not-so-great appraisers don't necessarily do that and put in the time. So, 
um, I think that's an important uh, you know, consideration as well. So we're going to be back uh, continuing our conversation. Make sure to check out TampaBayHouseValue.com. If you're curious about your home's value, is your home more valuable than it's ever been? Uh, you can find out right now at TampaBayHouseValue.com. And we'll be back after a quick break here on 970 WFLA.